All right, guys, welcome back to uh, whatever this is. Pokemon TCG to thingy, Rocket, guys. Anyway, yeah, so last time we uh, took down the Fighting Great Rocket place. Now we're here at the Psychic place. And, uh, yeah, we trade something to this chick and get a promotional Mewtwo. And, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty easy way to get him powered up, ready to go. So if I ever have a Psychic deck, I'll probably end up using that. Anyway, uh, yes, there's, like, there's nothing here. There's straight up just nothing here. Whoa, wait a second. Apparently there is. Okay, so this guy is definitely just making people appear out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, so holy crap, there's just people appearing everywhere. Okay, so anyway, it looks like uh, I have to fight all four of these guys. Uh, in order to go, I'm gonna really quickly check something just to be sure because I'm kind of scared. Yeah, okay, anyway, yeah, let's do this then. Anyway, let's go for the first guy here. The first guy, he's gonna need four double colorless energy in your deck, so that's cool. Uh, hey, his name is Kevin. That's pretty neat. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, or four Pidgey. So four double colorless or four Pidgey is what you're going to need in order to fight this guy. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so let's just go ahead and put an energy down like a boss. Go ahead and bill here, get a Charmander. That's really nice. And, uh, yeah, just end my turn right quizzy. And anyway, uh, his drowsy can't do anything, so I'm just going to energy removal him. And, uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Let's go for the wrap. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to kill him. Well, obviously, it's not going to kill him. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, Pokemon Trader this Hungry Snorlax for a D-Knight. There he is. And, uh, yeah, so we can energy removal this Drowsy again because I'm a jerk. And we'll hit him with another wrap. Don't get the paralyzed. He does evolve him here into Dark Hypno. And uh, whatever, that's cool. I can still hit him with another wrap. And he's actually going to energy search. He gets that psychic energy, attaches that to Dark Hypno, hits me again for another 10 damage. But uh, yeah, that's not going to do anything. Anyway, I'm a little scared right now, so I actually am going to go into Dragonite right now and just uh, hope to God that I get something that allows me to get an energy. I'm pretty sure Hypno has another attack, so we'll see what he does here. He does have something. My opponent flips a coin, and for every uh, thing I have, it's going to do 20 damage. And I actually don't get another thing, so I have to just kind of chill here and let him do his thing. So, uh, yeah, I do get a super energy removal here, though, so I am actually going to use that. I'm going to get rid of those two psychic energies on that Hypno, so yeah. And that's great, because now he's not going to be able to attack, although I am now forced to wait another turn here. And he is going to get that energy back on Hypno. I really hope I draw another energy, and fortunately I don't. That's really unfortunate, because I just, like, I'm not getting any energy right now. Like, I'm straight up just, I can't do anything without energy. Like, it's pretty friggin' retarded, but whatever. Anyway, we'll throw some energy back in the deck, and I still can't do anything, because I straight up don't have any energy, so I have to just die, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's actually going to do 20 damage there, so cool. Do get energy this turn. I can hit him with a flame tail to the face, but uh, he's still gonna, just going to be able to take me out, so, yeah, this really blows. Uh, we do nab a Recycle Energy, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll go for another Nightly Garbage Run here, and uh, get some more things going on. Can't really do anything until I can attack here, and yeah, I'm definitely not going to receive any damage, so that is pretty sweet. Go for the wrap, take this thing out, and draw Super Energy Removal, that's Actually not bad. He does unfortunately have this Kangaskhan though. But uh, check it out. We are going to just breeder up Dragonite here. And then I'm going to just be a douche and go for the super energy removal 
on this Kangaskhan and uh, yeah just then place the recycle energy right back down on Dragonite so yeah but he actually has another double colorless energy which really blows holy Christ could I get more Dragonites I don't understand this like I seriously and of course he gets double heads when one tails would end it for him but no he gets both heads so everything is going this guy's way right now like this is incredibly stupid I haven't gotten anything that I need, he's gotten everything that he needs, and it's just really dumb sometimes. It's just the way that this works, I guess, but whatever. Not really much I can do about it. I have to just kind of play through the pain, I guess, but anyway. He's pretty much good to go on his next guy here, so I'm pretty much screwed. So, yeah. I've kind of expended all my breeders. Yep, there you go. So that's going to be game right there against him. So, yeah, that's really fucking stupid. That's probably the dumbest game I've ever seen played. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that was that was terrible. That was just terrible. Like, I didn't get anything going. He got pretty much everything he needed on every point. So that just that really blows. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully this time it'll be different because that was really stupid. Like, that was pretty much the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. But, whatever. No sense in complaining about it, I guess. Uh, yeah. So I'm assuming this Mewtwo doesn't have anything that's, like, too devastating. And I'll put one there. We'll go ahead and super energy removal. It's Mewtwo, and uh, hit him with another flame tail to the face. And Mewtwo not going to be able to do anything, and that is pretty sweet, because I get another energy removal here, and I'm just pretty much controlling this game right now. I am going to traitor this Stratini to get a Charizard. There he is. And I'll be good to go on this next uh, turn to take out uh, this Drowsy, but he does get another Pokemon, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway, we'll throw up another double colorless here. We will get a Breeder. Breed that Charizard right Quizzy. And I'm actually good for two attacks here, so he's going to have to keep throwing down Pokemon in order to survive. Uh, and he's not going to get one, so that's going to be game right there. And yeah, that's uh, that just shows that it can go either way sometimes. But uh, yeah, that first battle, pretty dumb. Anyway, we get a cool looking Zapdos here. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. That's an interesting Zapdos. And, uh, it was sleep. Oh, that's, uh, pretty dumb, actually. <laughs> Blastoise. And eh, nothing that great. Okay. So, that guy's done. So, let me just, uh, take a look here. Okay, so this chick is going to need four Jigglypuff or four Mysterious Fossil. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to straight up just put in four Jigglypuffs. And I'm going to take out four energy removals. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that. And she's not letting me do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, not this chick. Okay, this chick isn't the one that needs it. It's this chick that needs the four Jigglypuffs. No? Maybe? What? Okay. Am I hitting yes? I don't even know anymore. She just won't duel me right now. I don't get it. Do I not have four Jigglypuffs? Did I... I don't, I don't understand. Okay, maybe she needs four Mysterious Fossils. Do I even have four Mysterious Fossils? I only have one Mysterious Fossil. Okay, now I'm confused. <sighs> now I am definitely confused. I could have sworn she needed four Jigglypuffs. Hmm. Okay, well... Mm hmm. This is pretty stupid. I don't understand why they're not dueling me. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, let me, uh... 
I guess. I don't know what to say here. Like, okay, well, okay. So the person, okay, so this, let's just duel this guy then, I guess. And this guy needs four Meowths or four Dark Pokemon. So let me just, let me just put some Meowths in then instead. Maybe I have to duel him first. But, uh, yeah, let's give this chick a shot then. Okay, she won't tell me either. What the hell, dude? Oh my god. I don't get this. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on here. Hold everything. I was reading that wrong. Okay, so this first guy doesn't have any requirements, but there's the re the resistance thing. Okay, I figured this out now. Then this chick, you can't have any trainer cards at all, which is pretty much the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life, but oh well. So, yeah. So this is what I'm going to do instead, which this really sucks because... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to use my deck then. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go into my water deck, and I'm just going to get rid of all these trainers like a boss. Mm -hmm. and just get a lot more water energy. So half my deck is going to be water energy. So yeah, come at me. All right, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's use this deck. Okay, got that figured out. There we go. I got it. Okay. I know I could figure it out eventually. I just, you know. Just need a, just need a second there. That's all I really needed. Anyway, so uh, yeah. So this is looking good. We're kind of butting heads here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll be able to take this thing out on the next turn. And can't really do anything other than just attack. So hopefully she doesn't have something that will kill me. She just has a Meowth. And it's going to do something that does nothing. So that's sweet. We have a lot of Blastoises. <laughs> she does put another Pokemon down. And she gets heads and tails. So she gets to draw cards based on the amount of those things that she gets. So cool. Uh, yeah, it's going to go for an attack this turn. I do get a Magic Carp now, so that's pretty sweet. can start building that up. Take out this Meowth. Okay, and yeah, this thing is going to paralyze us, unfortunately. It'd be nice if I got a War Turtle, but nope, that's not going to happen anytime soon, so yeah. Oh well, whatever. It's cool. Squirtle goes down. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to Magikarp, obviously evolve it here, go for the D-Rage to the face, and of course there's the War Turtle that we needed earlier, and uh, we'll end this game right here with a Dragon Rage, and that's going to do it, so that was really quick. And so we get another pack, Dark Alakazam, that's pretty nice, get a Charmander, not the one that I want though, I want that other cool one, get a Fossil pack here bunch of crap and she's done now okay so now this person has only psychic energy so let me just check which deck I have okay so all of them so I'm gonna have to redo my entire thing here that's cool though you know sometimes a homie just gotta you know get some cards I really enjoy psychic decks uh, the problem with them most of the time is uh, is that, the, is that the one that I want? Okay, so there, two, three, four. Uh, do we even have any Alakazams? What the hell? Really? Alright, well, cool. Uh, what's another good psychic type then? Obviously, Ghastly. Which haunter do I want? This haunter. Oh, that's the only one I have. We got a Gengar, we got one Gengar. I'm gonna have like no evolution Pokemon at all. Uh where's the good Mewtwo? We'll get that one and that one. And that one. And uh yeah, so then energies we'll just get those all the way up. And duel this person. 
Okay, let's uh, get through this as quick as we can, make up for all my fail earlier, and we have a lot of energy, so that's what we're going to see a lot. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, Psyshock to the face. And, uh, yeah, so it actually energy removals me, that kind of blows. It's going to go for Psy Beam there, that doesn't really do anything to me, though, so I don't really care about that. I do have the bill here. Get another Abra, and can finish this thing off with a Psy Shock to the face. And we do pull a Dark Kadabra, so that's pretty cool, actually. Let me just check him. Mind Shock. Don't apply weakness and resistance. Okay, well, you know what? Let's freaking throw down that Dark Kadabra. So in your turn, you may discard a card from your hand or to draw a card. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll hit this thing with a Mind Shock. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be game right there. Sorry, son. Booyah. All right, so that was really easy. And uh, we get a Team Rocket's Ambition. Maybe get something nice. Doesn't look like it. We do get a Dutini, though, so that's good. We can finish that off. And a bunch of crap from there. So she's done now. And now we can actually teleport to that guy, but we do want to fight this guy as the last guy here. This guy, uh, we're just going to use the same deck because he wants uh, Haunter and Ghastly in the deck. He needs six Haunter and Ghastly. Any combination will work, so that's what we're going to do. And, uh, yeah. So that's, that's what we're going to do. And we actually draw a Haunter, so that's pretty sweet. And we are going to hit him with a Lick to the face. He actually also gets a Haunter and is going to involve that thing. And uh, I am going to wake up, though, here. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, so let me check this really quick. All right, cool. Uh, I do want to go for a Bill here. And we'll have that Gengar in a bit. And I guess that lets you take a look at his thing or something. Anyway, we do knock him out. Uh, I guess we don't get a card, though, a prize card? Anyway, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's go ahead and get Gengar out there. Go ahead and go for an Oak here. Try and get some uh, their basic Pokemon. We do get a Mewtwo. And, uh, yeah, we can go for the Dark Mind here. And, uh, yeah, I am going to be able to get the 30 damage in on him and take out his other guy, so that is pretty sweet. He does go into Kangaskhan, though, and Kangaskhan and Fortunately, does actually resist everything I have. So this could really end up being a problem. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, that kind of blows, actually. But here's what I can do. I can actually Pokemon power. I can curse. Grab one from him and put it on Kangaskhan, then go for the Dark Mind, and do the same thing over and over. Unfortunately, uh, he's not going to take damage. Haunter's ability still protects him while he's there, and he actually evolves it into Gengar, which is pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty neatio. Okay, so anyway, let's... Neatio. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and curse again. And go ahead and go for the Dark Mind. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing this over and over because I don't want this thing to actually tr try and sweep me or do anything to that effect. This could take a minute. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to retreat at this point and bring in Mewtwo, and then I can still Pokemon Power, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely still going to be able to do that. And I can take this thing out with a Psy, or hit this thing for at least 10 damage with the Psyburn. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. More Pokemon power. And I can still hit this. And I actually go for energy absorption like an idiot. What the hell am I doing? Oh my god, I hate this game so much sometimes. And uh, we'll just go for the Cyburn. We'll keep hitting this thing every chance we get. More Cyburns for days. More Cyburns for days. Do, 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 Cyburn forever, like a boss. And he's actually running low on cards here. I was hoping that he wouldn't uh, scoop up or do something dumb like that. 
Either way, we do take him out, and that's pretty sweet, because now he unfortunately is going to go into Gengar here, uh, but that doesn't really matter. But just in case he decides to do anything funny, we're going to we're gonna get rid of one of those energies, just because we're a little afraid. And I actually am going to go for the curse here and uh, take that and put that on one of his things, but I just noticed he has another Kangaskhan, which is really dumb. And of course he goes into it. What a freaking scumbag. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to just remove that and just go for the Cyburn. And uh, yeah, take forever basically is what we're going to be doing here. Uh, yeah, so cool. Uh, Cyburns for days. Can't take like eight more turns to take this guy out. I don't know, there's not much more to do. I guess I can, I don't know, there's no really way to s speed this up. But he actually gets a gust of wind here, which, or I actually draw a gust of wind, which is huge, because I can freaking take this guy out, and he can stop being a freaking scumbag with his stupid thing. So anyway, we beat him, and we get another Dark Alakazam, so if I was going to keep using that deck, that'd be nice. And Legendary Power. I've gotten so many of those farming my Charizards. Anyway, we can now go up and fight that guy. I think we'll do that next time, because I don't really like these going longer than too much longer than 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. So, yeah. Okay, go team. See you guys next time.